Welcome to another episode of On Enter Flash. In this tutorial, we're going to go into uh, 360 view and how to do that. This is what my outcome looks like. I have a picture of my backyard and I just move my mouse and every time I move my mouse or when I move it to the end or the other side of the stage, it changes angle. And when I go back, it changes angle and I have a complete 360 view. Well, I didn't take pictures of every single view but you pretty much get the idea. So let's go into Flash and learn how to create this. What I did was create two layers. One will house all of our action script which I named AS3 and I'm gonna lock that layer. And I have Cam360 which is gonna hold the movie clip containing all the photographs of my 360 view. What you want to do now is import all your images. So go to File, Import, Import to Library, and import all your images. I've already done that. So I have every single picture I need. The next step is to create a movie clip. So you can either just drag an image out to stage and then go to Modify and convert it to a symbol and convert it to a movie clip or you can insert a new symbol which is what I did. I inserted a new symbol and I named it CAM360 I got this blank area where I can drag and drop all of my images into new frames so what I would do is go to my first image drag and drop into here and then press F7 to create a blank keyframe and go to the next image and continue to do that until I got all my images out. Now the trick to this is the image that you start off with is the same image that you end with. So when you toggle through the animation it should look like you did a total spin. If you want to go outside and do the same thing you I would recommend that you use a tripod. I didn't use a tripod, I just used my steady hand as you can tell. And what you want to do with that tripod is, you, or with your hand if you don't have a tripod, is you want to try to take a picture every 10 frames, every 90 frames. You just have to be uniform with the angle that you take a picture at to get that effect that you want. In creating this movie clip, I've taken every single image put inside of a movie clip and the last image or the last frame of the movie clip I used the last image. So now I'm ready to go back to my stage and and create the 360 view. So now I'll drag my movie clip out into the stage and properties I'm going to give it an instance name. I'm going to call it cam. One thing is that the stage may not match the width and height of your movie clip because well my pictures are uh, 640 by 480 and usually the stage is 550 by 400 and the way you can change that is you go to your size and you can man manually do that or you just click on contents and flash will find out what is the contents of your will look at the contents of your page and it will conform to it. So I get, I've given my movie clip an instance name. Now I can lock that layer and get into the action script. So I click on the frame with action script. Go to window, actions to open up my actions panel. And the first thing I want to do is stop the cam from playing because by default it'll just loop. I want to create a variable that we'll use later. Call it frame2. Data type it to a number that is equal to 0. Now I want to add an event listener. And it's going to listen for the enter frame event. 
and I'm gonna call it go to. So now I need to create that function go to. And I'm going to say to type it to void because we're not returning anything. And in, inside of this function, this is where we're going to create that formula that is going to determine which frame the cam movie clip should be on in relation to where the mouse is on the stage. So, what I'm going to do is make a simple formula that finds out what's the position of the mouse where it is on the stage and what number or what frame it should be at so let's create that function right now and we're gonna add and once we've created this function we want to assign it to that variable that we created frame 2 so frame 2 is equal to I wanna type int for integer because when you're dealing with frames the only numbers that are accepted are integers so we can't have any floating numbers like 1.5 flash won't understand that you're trying to go to frame 1.5 there is no 1.5 so we get the mouse x divided by the stage width and that will give us a number between 0 and 1 so with a number between 0 and 1 we can multiply that to get a percent of the total so what we're gonna do is get that that percent and multiply it by the total amount of frames inside of the cam movie clip so let's do that so let's look at the formula I have it in uh, parentheses that it will always be an integer so I don't have to worry about this coming out to 12.9 or anything like that. What I have here is the mouse position divided by the stage width and that will give us a number between 0 and 1 and I'll multiply it and it gets multiplied by the cam total frames so depending on where my mouse is it's going to give me that number and that number is multiplied by the total frames and that will give me a number between 0 and the frame right before the last one in the movie clip so what that means is it will give me a number between 0 and since I have 13 frames it's going to give me a number between 0 and 12 and that's not what I want because there is no zero frame and I do want to get to frame 13 so the way we solve that problem is we add one to it so now the formula is complete it gives us an integer, an integer back between 0 and 12 and then it adds one to it now if you had more frames of course like say I had 24 frames it would give me a number between 0 and 23 and me adding one would get me to that 24th frame. So now that we have the formula complete, now we have to use this frame to to make it go to that specific frame that we want to go to. So we'll go cam dot go to and stop on frame frame 2. So this equation produces a number every single frame between 1 and the last frame. So there you have that 360 view. Let's try it out. So when my mouse is all the way at the end, it starts off at the first frame, and then as I continue it goes to frame 2, 3, so forth and so forth and now over here I'm back on frame 13 so it 
I have the illusion that I'm going 360 degrees. So n you know now how you can use the mouse to interact with your movie clips to give yourself a 360 view. And you, and you saw that it really wasn't that many lines of code. So thanks for watching on Enter Flash. This is Worf. Don't forget to subscribe and visit me on my website on enterflash.blogspot.com which has the source material. So if you want to copy and paste any of this code, it'll be on my website. Thanks for watching on Enter Flash.